Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. IRS expanding die diesel penalty relief as a result of Hurricane Ian. Yes, I say let the gas fly. Dang global warming fanatics like crazy parents have us so worried we've had to hold in our gas for years until we're about ready to explode. Afraid to let it out because it may embarrass our stern parents in front of our sophisticated foreign neighbors. Ironically, holding in our gas is increasing our impact on global warming, not decreasing it. It making us dependent on foreign producers of gas rather than just letting our own gas fly. Foreign producers who don't care about global warming. Foreign producers who don't have procedures to reduce negative impacts as they let their gas fly. Foreign producers who then have to ship us their gas, which releases more gas, just so we're able to use their gas to do stuff while holding in our own. Clenching down our massive gas reserves just under the surface. Honestly, it's enough to make you cringe in uncomfortable constipated pain. After getting upset with the IRS auditor for taking all my money, again. Well, let's see the FICA guys took all my money. <laughs> he told me that I need to know on which side my bread was buttered. But Jiminy, you buttered your bread, now sleep in it. And I was like, hey, I know which side my bread is buttered on. Well, look on the bright side. Which is? The problem is, it's buttered on the super skinny crust side. Which is what? What's the bright side? Oh, that's a figure of speech. I, I mean, honestly, the only good thing about having the super skinny crust side being the buttered side of the bread is that the bread is less likely to fall butter side down. Why does everything bad always happen to me? But really, who butters the super skinny crust side for crying out loud? I want more butter. Answer me, guy in box and guy on crush. IR 2022-177, October 11th, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service, in response to continued disruptions resulting from Hurricane Ian, will not impose a penalty when dyed diesel fuel with a sulfur content that does not exceed 15 parts per million is sold for use or used on the highway in the state of Florida. This penalty relief expands previously issued penalty relief that applied only to emergency vehicles. This relief is retroactive to September 28, 2022 and will remain in effect through October 19, 2022. This penalty relief is available to any person that sells or uses dyed diesel fuel for highway use. In the case of the operator of the vehicle in which the dyed diesel fuel is used, the release is available only if the operator or the person selling such fuel pays the tax of 24.4 cents per gallon that is normally applied to diesel fuel for highway use. The IRS will not impose penalty for failure to make semi-monthly deposits of tax for dyed diesel fuel sold for use or used in diesel powered vehicles on the highway in the state of Florida during the relief period. IRS publication 510, excise taxes, there's a link to that here, has information on the proper method for reporting and paying the tax. Ordinarily, dyed diesel fuel is not taxed because it is sold for use exempt from excise tax, such as farmers for farming purposes or home heating use and to local governments. The IRS is closely monitoring the situation and will provide additional relief as needed. So there's links to that information here and there'll be a link to this in the description.